Welcome to the root fern track. We are the first ones in the hut and basically we can choose the bed. My mom is afraid that she doesn't fit in the bed. <laughs> this hut here costs quite a lot. $140 per, per person, per night because it is the great walk, bunk, bed, hut. <laughs> These are a bit smaller. What are we doing here? Oh, Hi, how are you? It seems that I'm surrounded by the trees. It's a tree 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 tree. So we are now taking a side trip to the key summit from the Howden hut as it is around noon, so we have tons of time to kill and it should be a point with many beautiful views but I can already feel how the crowd is different from the other tracks I don't want to say anything bad <laughs> Different crowd Let's climb to the mountain I don't know what this is like that we are now so trained, but it's not too much <laughs> yeah, Kotti Polaga. Hello. Hello, hi. I think we are almost here. Quite fast. Maybe half an hour of climbing. It is so surreal to see a, basically a peat moss so high up in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> we, ha we have the similar landscape, the peat moss, in Estonia in the lowest areas possible, in the middle of forests. But now it's like we are up high in the clouds and we see this peat. Pretty surreal. This ski summit is definitely worth a visit. It was so surreal to see this kind of landscape so high up and the views are magnificent. So, and I guess even if you don't have time uh, or the possibility to, to do the route pern track, you can still come up here and do a day walk up here because it is quite close to the road. 10 out of 10. Tellimusiga võib esitada veel. Nii palju on linnukene ka sinna suure puu otsa. Üks see väikene linnukene. Ei paista hästi välja, aga natuke on näha, et see linnuk on kuskil. Mingi juhu. Paremat ei saa. See on see Robin. Good morning. It is 23rd of March, around 9 a.m. and these are our first official steps on the Root Prune track. Today is promising to be a beautiful day, but we only have three hours to walk until the next hut where we will spend the night. So if you are in a hurry, you can skip the Howden hut where we slept last night and just go straight to the Lake Mackenzie hut. <laughs> I am already panting. Huh? For the next one and a half days it's only uphill. So yeah, the weather forecast for today is nice, but it promises to rain tomorrow, so I guess we will eventually have this uh, wet day, because until now we haven't had to hike in rain. The track is going uphill, but it's extremely mellow, really slow and, oh, well, as I was speaking, the deepest ascent so far. It's the great walk. 
we are still in the woods, but I can already see the views and the peaks peaking from the canopy and they are pretty awesome. I haven't heard a lot of uh, bird singing on this trail, but now, uh, now in this small section, there are a lot of it. So that's really lovely. But all of the other first parts have been quite, quite uh, quiet, which is really funny to experience, like walking in a dense forest without any bird singing. As it is really popular trail, there are some drop toilets along the way uh, in, a, uh, in between huts that's pretty convenient and nice to keep this fragile nature intact and it's a loo with a view So here's the bunk house, the toilets and the main house with the bunk room. So as we are so early, we can choose. Iksur <laughs> magala. No, siis me saame enari välida. This is the bunk room and it's pretty awesome. It fits um, a lot of people here. <laughs> Uh, maybe 20 because there are 12 bunk beds and then you can sleep here and you have also a special place to st store your gear that's pretty awesome I haven't seen these ones in other huts this kitchen area is massive look at all the gas stoves and as we arrived so early, there is no one here right at the moment. When you come to the hut, in the Great Walks hut, you choose a bunk bed and then write yourself in. We are beds 10 and 12. We are the first ones. We can also check ourselves into the intentions, intentions book. This book is used when uh, basically you are missing and people need to rescue you or search and rescue. Um, we have to write down when we are planning to leave this hut and where are we planning to go so the rangers can see the book in different huts and see where we are at or where we were last seen. So really important book to sign in. I think the water is freezing. Uh, we yeah, but I would regret if I didn't try it. So we have been eating for breakfast one packet for two people, and then for dinner proper one person meal in this package and then for lunch like bars beef jerky and so on i'm pretty sick of these next time i know i will not depend on these really just have to take a lot of different things <laughs>
Ma arvan, et tää korralikus te tükist lihast. Mm. Aga sina ei katsid liha. Mm -hmm. mm. I have been having some real trouble making pictures that I like. So I started doing super super quick sketches on my like notebook where I write and I actually like these better than I like the ones that I'm doing on the watercolor sketchbook. But I made this one again on the right side and I like it much better than this one. It just has so much more character in it. Yes, Oh my god, kuidas ma praegu ihkaksin kõike need asju, mis siin naabrite laua kui on? Laua naabrit tuli vei, kudel vei, kõik, põhimõtteliselt kõik asjad, mida mina ihkaksin praegu ees, siis meil on tuli edes patalit laudaga, meil ei ole suhtud kaartud ees, siis saame ära. Good morning, good morning, it is few minutes before 8 a.m. and we have been walking for half an hour now we started in in the dusk because it promises heavy rainfall by the afternoon and I want to walk as much as possible before the rain but I can already feel few drops coming so I guess we don't have any escape from the rain today is a long day we have about eight hours of walking to do and today should be the most beautiful one as it's the most highest on the route burn track the views to the Mackenzie Lake are already pretty awesome but let's see what the day brings to us with the Sultan and the bags are nice and light so it's easier to walk Yesterday when we were down there by the hut and when I was looking up the mountain here I thought no way the track goes over this mountain and an hour later we are so high up and climbing over this mountain. Yes, I pole veel kõige kõrgema koht rajal. Ja. Veel. I think this is our last climb up to the saddle. The trail has been pretty easy and although we have been walking up uphill it hasn't been so hard but it is raining this kind of misty misty rain but I guess it's because we are inside of the cloud. You see there should be some amazing views, mountain views there, but we can only see the clouds. But the landscape close up is pretty awesome as well, so nothing too bad. We are almost at the highest point of this trail and we still have some streams to get water from, so this is super awesome. You don't have to carry on water. And now the magic ingredient. These are truly a lifesaver. Make drinking water much more like pleasant. Look how cool 
there are these little bog areas here too. We made it! Hooray! Guided walks and they tell the mayak in it. There are toilets here at the back with containers, so yeah, it's highly logical that they uh, gather up the waste and then fly it away from here with helicopters, but it's really nice. Nice little shelter, you can't sleep here, it's an emergency sh shelter, only for resting. There is a side track, the Chronicle Hill track that goes up there. There is a guy walking with a blue jacket, can you see it? Uh, it should have some pretty amazing views, but as it's all cloudy, I don't see any point climbing, climbing up there. Feeling good? Nice. We are only downhill from here. Good Sultunan. With garlic. This is super awesome. So good brand of uh, air dried venison. The beef jerky. Makus. Look at the views! Oh my! And the rain is getting stronger. Let's see how how much can I film. Can you imagine how far you could see when it's not cloudy? Mm, beautiful. We arrived at the Rootburn Falls and there's the first hut of today. It looks really massive from up. But we will not stay here. We will walk like an hour or two hours forward to the next hut because this one was all booked when I looked. So we have to go to the next one. Yeah, it really looks huge. It has been const constant uh, downhill and pretty steep as well, so I even don't know if I would prefer to hike the trail the other way because this trail can be hiked in both ways. So <laughs> if you come up this way it's a pretty steep uphill climb in contrast to the other side where we climbed up but it was really mellow, really nice smooth trail. So. Your choose, you so you oh. so you can choose not to fall from the rocks, please. Thank you. I will put the camera away now before I will seriously injure myself. Jalat käivät risti resti. So this confirms my theory that these uh, fancy lodges are for like big guided groups that I guess you pay quite a lot to be on, but the lodges do look fancy mm, with lighting and curtains and 
glass walls oh my god for my own curiosity i will check later on how much does it cost to be on one of these guided guided tours for the independent walkers the huts don't seem too bad well not not bad they are actually pretty awesome Really suddenly, I, I have this major like tiredness on me. As I really don't know how to draw faces, I have a little test page here. We made it! Shenzhen! 